Teaching Biblical Teachings. Join Pastor Salem this weekend. Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince, brought to you by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. Welcome on into the Bison Football Show along with head coach Matt Ence. I'm Sam Niederman. Big win for the Bison to close out the regular season today on the road against Northern Iowa. 48 to 27, the final score. And coach, one away to cap off the regular season. It was uh, a, a good win against a good football team and a hard place to to have wins. I mean, you walk down the tunnel, they have a big sign right there that tries to let you know how few people have ever won games here. And so um, our kit was started on Monday. We had a great week and, you know, some things that we can clean up, you know, here today. But overall, we played with great energy, executed at a, at a, at a good clip. You know, one of the things that was really prevalent early on, Coach, offensively, you guys mixed and matched personnel, which has been the story yeah. all season. But seemed like we were one step ahead yeah. offensively, very multiple. We were. We were. And we, uh, by jumping in and out of personnel, we dictated kind of what they were going to be in. We figured out that they were going to play this personnel to this, to this, our personnel. And so we could control kind of what we wanted to see at different times during the course of the game. And then as the game went on, I mean, they just started, you know, pressure every down uh, when they struggled to get stops with their zone coverage and kind of just some of their four down we saw a lot of you know six cover zero um, bring in four from a side at different times during the game so that was that was going to be their answer when they struggled mm -hmm. and now we look I mean the last two games coach the win against SIU at home you pitch a shutout in the second half today you put up 48 points scored at will did created four turnovers there a lot yep. of sa four sacks four interceptions you got to like the way that both sides of the ball really put it together these last two games yeah, I, I do um, you know are there things that you want to adjust and maybe continue to improve or things that we could have done differently of course but overall really excited about where we're going how we're trending um, but you're only as good as your last game so we need to continue to improve and um, We'll see what happens here coming up. You know, we talked in our post game on the radio broadcast with Rajar Nelson. He said, quote, this is a direct quote, I'm electric. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can hear the confidence in that. I think you could hear it to a man with this team. How confident do you think your bunch is heading into the postseason? I think, I, I don't know, if, I'm not overcomp. I think there's a group that has a little bit of a chip, a little bit of a uh, horse blinders on. You know, they always say, you know, wise men are able to focus and so I think our guys just kind of have eliminated some of the distractions some of the outside noise um, not going to fuel the hype and just come to work every day and and do what bison do and that's that, that is work that is you know trust the process and get going well it was a great bison win today let's take a look at how it happened our first half highlights here from northern Iowa presented by Gate City Bank it's North Dakota State led by Iowa native Waterloo kid Matt Entz to come back home to Merrick Williams out TK Marshall in Miller flushed here but he's got some room he'll throw it back across his body to Zach Mathis on the reception Mathis gets popped but not before he gets out to the 41 yard line they just get it off Miller on the slant Eli Green gets behind the defense touchdown North Dakota State his first touchdown since the national championship game on fourth down but we got completion to Wolf second down and two Little play fake to the outside. Good coverage there. Cop in the area to knock that one away from Lane Pryor. Bison did not convert their third down to their first drive. Over the middle, that one hauled in on the reception. Carson Williams, the Iowa kid from Marshalltown, comes up with a first down to the 36. Second down and 14. Miller goes deep for Nelson, who's out of bounds at the one-yard line. How did he find him? And it's first and goal, North Dakota State happen here in real time Miller takes it himself touchdown North Dakota State the Iowa kid game it's a third and seven day under pressure shakes off Moster fumbled the football it looked like he may have got it back the Bison are signaling they have third and nine Miller steps up throws that's caught Nelson can he get in touchdown North Dakota State 
Rajon Nelson into the land of six again. Running on that drive as Day will throw here. Intercepted. It's picked off by Oscar Benson. His first career pick. We mentioned it earlier. Day with the propensity to turn the ball over. And the Hillsborough kid comes up with the play. But it's a good atmosphere. Second and eight. Miller. Rolls out, open again. Nelson popped out of bounds, but a first down. That's almost identical to what happened earlier. Prosa is in to attempt a 33-yarder. That is up, and it is good. And with 7-11 remaining in the first half, the Bison have extended their lead now to 24-10. to 10. Stop. Second and five. Day with time. Down the field. Intercepted! Again, Sam Young! His second career pick. Back-to-back -back drives end with interceptions. All right, a look at our first half stats presented by Nodak Insurance Company. 27-10 at the half, Coach, and really right from the jump. You guys got the ball to start the game. 11 out of 11 drives this season, opening series for the yep. offense. Scored points. That's now nine touchdowns, two field goals. Let's go back to that fourth down. Kind of in no man's land. They brought the heat. Slant to Eli, and adios. Yeah, we were, we were deep enough where all of a sudden, you know, sky punt kind of didn't feel like it was worth it. Uh, do you take a penalty to try to back it up? And and, and and maybe have a little more space, but uh, you know, we 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 talk to our kids about being aggressive and making sure your words and actions match up. And then sometimes I got to be aggressive too, right? I mean, if I'm always talking about starting fast and, and being on the attack, well, you know, we we need to attack into some decision makings too at times, and you know. That's a big play, and you know, probably sent a message to the other sideline that, hey, we're ready to go, and, and we're going to try to keep you on your heels all day. Mm -hmm. And then later on, you guys get the QB sneak touchdown from Cam. Yep. Uh, you end up getting another one from Raja, who has really blossomed here. Right. And has been a diverse rep weapon for you. He has. He's had some big plays for us, some big third down catches. Uh, big one down in the in the north end zone there, right there out, out at the one. Uh, I think that was a third down play, if I remember right. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of weapons. And, you know, at the receiver position, at the, run, at the running back, at the tight end position, I think we're being multiple. We're using as many bodies as we can, trying to keep defenses from seeing a tendency or creating tendencies. And so I'm excited about you know how we've gone about our business. Got the two takeaways going into the break. It was 27 to 10 at the half. When we come back, we'll take a look at the second half of this game here in Northern Iowa on the Bison Football Show with Coach Eds. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gate City Bank. Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. Entire off seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. I want to do everything to the best of my ability. Travel. My bad. On the court and on the road. If I make a mistake, I want to know. Lane violation. And when I'm at my best, I want to see the rewards. That's why I signed up for the Drive for Less program with Nodak Insurance. I drive safely so I could save up to 30% on my insurance premium. Driving safe and saving money? That's a good call. Download the Nodak Insurance app today. 
Experience the best of local sports, news, and weather like never before. Download the WDAY Plus app, your new digital destination. Stream live, exclusive, and on-demand content from Bison games to high school sports. Stay informed with up-to-the-minute news and weather coverage on your phone and connected devices. Download the WDAY Plus app today. Available now on Apple TV, Fire TV, Roku, and much more. WDAY Plus, the only streaming service you need to stay connected to your community. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Back at it here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Ed. Let's take a look at the second half of the win over Northern Iowa on Saturday here in Cedar Falls. And Coach, second half there. You guys got two takeaways to end the first half. Oscar Benson with a pick, Sam Young with a pick. The first two picks of their careers. Uh, cash them in for a field goal. You knew you had to get some stuff done defensively there in the second half uh, when yeah. Northern Iowa got the ball. No doubt. You know, they're a... <laughs> You know, Theo Day is one of the top quarterbacks in FCS. Uh, offensively, I think they're in the top 10 in passing yards per game. So we knew they were going to come out and try to start slinging it. They got good receivers, a lot of outbreaking routes, tough to defend. Um, you know, we, we've tried to play a little tighter coverage at different times, and they, they hit some double moves. And he, 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 he's got a big arm. He's a big kid. You know, and you see that it's hard to hard to get pressure on him, hard to get get him on the ground, and you know. We, we need to play a little better coming out of half. That's always a concern of mine. Um, but I did like how our kids responded, You know, have, especially having a defensive score in the second half. Oh, you're talking about that defensive score. We'll see it here in a minute. Cole Osteski, I mean, he looked like James Harrison in the Super Bowl for the Steelers <laughs> for me. He was running it no. back and weaving and dodging through traffic. No doubt. I appreciate how you commented on the greatest organization <laughs> in the NFL right there. But um, you know what? I, I told him it, that looked like his high school film. Because that's what every other play was on his high school film. He played high school quarterback. He played safety. If he wasn't picking it off, he was running for touchdowns, you know, in Sparta, Wisconsin. So, yeah, he, savvy football player, headsy football player, just dives into his craft. And, he, it, it, you know, we, we all crossed our fingers when we made the move and it, it kind of – he all looks like we look like geniuses at yeah. times, but he's a really good one. Yeah, it's paying dividends for sure. And you got to talk about Sam Young, too, yeah. getting his first career pick today, and Oscar with the sure. double getting to Yeah, it. I mean, Oscar just it, just steady ascent all, all year. I mean, he's had to start, what, three, four games in a row now? and Five, yeah. Five, yeah, see, and it just continues to improve. He, he, he's a, he believes, he works at it, he, he takes it personal when he doesn't play well, and um, he's very proud of what he's doing right now, and you know he, you know that first pick he had, that that was a South Dakota State national championship play that we defended right there, and all of a sudden we have a pick. I mean, people are going back to the well to try to find ways to, to be successful, and, and 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 we keep throwing those issue plays at our guys, and it's fun to see him continue to learn and grow every week. Last thing before we get to the highlights here, and he had two of the big highlights in the second half. Cole Payton gets in, and he's electric every time he touches the ball. He is. I mean, he's 230 pounds, one of the fastest kids on the team, and, you know, we, we hit that little power sweep right there, and he got a keep read. He hit that thing straight downhill, and, you know, I think he made one 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 slight cut, but uh, you let – Will you let him get a, a head of a steam going? He, he's a tough cat to bring down. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. 65-yard score. Also had one where he broke some tackles for a 23-yard score. You'll see all those here in our second-half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Your quarterback, the six-year man. They'll start on the ground with Edwards running to a wall there. Luke Wirtz off the edge. Nowhere to go. It's going to be a loss of yardage. Day. Under pressure, and down he goes for a sack. Hendricks in there, joined by Heisman, and it's going to be fourth down. Day under pressure, and down he goes for the sack. Jake Cava. Back today. He'll keep it himself here, and look at this. The seam for Cole Payton at the 40. Got one man to beat. Payton down the sideline. Nose to touchdown, North Dakota State. A 65-yard run for Cole Payton. 
Third and nine. Miller, look at the time. Still with it. Waiting for somebody to get open. Now goes down the field. He's got two guys there. Nelson goes up and catches it. Nelson all the way down to the 32-yard line for a first down. How about that play to end the third quarter? Lost. Cole Payton in here, and look at this. Payton bounces off a guy. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Cole Payton did it again. On a first down, a low snap. Day over the middle, intercepted. Wisniewski with the pick, and he's got some room. Down the sideline, Wisniewski cuts back in. Can he get there? Still on his feet, slowed up. He's trying. Touchdown! It's a pick six for Cole Wisniewski. Day under pressure, and down he goes for the sack. Cop. New set of downs from the 33. Day intercepted. He's got another one. Benson with his second pick of the game. And the fourth interception for Theo Day. They keep their undefeated streak as you see title roll embracing with Matt Entz. The Bison have now made it a perfect 10. 10 straight wins over Northern Iowa. Final stats from the Bison's 48 to 27 victory over Northern Iowa. And coach, you got a little bit of everything today from your team. You had the four sacks and you had yep. the four takeaways. Yeah, very productive day. And we got good, I mean, four sacks, but I thought we had good pressure on the quarterback. We're, we're hitting him a lot. Just rushing four, uh, brought some steady amount of pressure at different times during the course of the game. And, you know, it's just, it's good to see. And we need to be playing our best football in November and feels like we are, but, you know, we need to get back, evaluate this, and get right back to work. Let's take a look at our player of the game presented by Nodak Insurance Company, Cam Miller, the quarterback, back here in his home state of Iowa. He caught up with Logan Campbell after the game. Cam, you knew how important a win was for you guys today. What was your mentality heading into today's game? I think just build off of the week before. I thought we played really well against SIU, and um, I thought that we carried over what we learned from SIU to, to the game today. How are you able to control the offense today? I would just say, you know, staying confident and staying poised and, you know, letting the guys know that we needed to start fast again, and that's what we did. We scored on the first drive, and I think that's crucial for how we play the rest of the game. You played here in high school, didn't win a state championship, but you won a very important game today. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to win in front of all of your family and friends? It meant a lot. There was actually probably 50 or 60 people that showed up. I thought there was going to be 20 or 25, and so special, so special. Um, you know, this place means a lot to me, and i um, so happy that I went to NDSU, though. Congratulations, Cam. Thank you. All righty, good stuff. Thank you, Logan. Cam Miller, player of the game, coach, 17 to 22, 238, couple of scores, also had his 11th rushing score of the year. Right. You know, Cam was ready. You could tell all week he was excited and, and very focused about having a game back here in his home state. Um, you know, he grew up an hour away from here. Um, we were fortunate enough to get him out of the state of Iowa and get him up to North Dakota State, and he's been tremendous for us, and uh, I know having probably dozens upon dozens of family members and friends here today was important to him but most important was making sure that this team finished the right way absolutely more to come here on the bison football show when we come back we talk with jay keese alexander the red shirt freshman defensive back for the bison stick with us this one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Teamwork. Talent. Dedication. Leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you. For our neighbors. For our community for a better way of life. Gate City Bank. 
Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. Entire off-seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Welcome back into the Bison Football Show with Coach Entz. In this week's Olaf Anderson feature, we caught up with freshman defensive back Jay Keys Alexander. What was the experience like on Saturday? Um, for sure. Uh, on Saturday, you know, I had to step up, next man up when Shep got hurt. Um, it definitely was nerve-wracking, but um, I, I definitely was prepared. Uh, uh, throughout the week, we make sure everything was was good. I knew all the play calls and everything. Um, and I, I just want to uh, thank like the vets, uh, just keeping me, um, you know, with the program and everything. So when I get out there, I can execute. Can't really have a harder assignment than having the South Dakota State wide receivers. Does not necessarily get easier, but was that the best way maybe to break in, considering the kind of talent you were going to try and defend? Oh, for sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely got all the jitters out. Um, that's what Coach Ants wanted me to do, just go out there and have fun. Um, so now I can just let loose and just play my, at my full potential. NDSU is pretty well known. When they decided to come to your school, what was that? Would the radar go off there? How much did you know about? Because NDSU has been in Tampa, Florida. Really, yeah, for really sure. Um, I, I didn't really know too much about NDSU. They, they came to me, uh, I think, my junior year, they, was one of the, they were one of the first schools to um, recruit me, and I, I've been talking to them the whole process. They told me it was going to be a long process. Um, it was Coach Morgan and Coach Polly, um, and they came to my house, and uh, that's, that's where I started. Did it feel like things have slowed down at all now when you were out there defensively, that you could, if, or is it still kind of coming at you at 100 miles an hour when you're out there playing? Definitely. Um, the first play, it was, it was kind of like my head was all over the place. But um, after that first play, it, I was out there, you know, I was letting loose, uh, got got to play uh, a lot of reps. So, yeah, it was it was definitely um, a good start for me. All righty, Coach J. Keese Alexander, young defensive back who is seeing some more playing time for yep. you here. Yep, he's worked himself back into the rotation, has done a good job. Um, playing more and more every week. Uh, need to continue to lean on him. I think there's a ton of potential. Uh, we still need to, you know, add a few pounds to him so he can become more durable. But he, it, it's been, we're, we're, we're trending in the right direction. Absolutely, no doubt. Now it's time for the great clips, great question. Last one of the regular season, Coach, yep. comes from Dan and Bismarck. He asked, what was it like coming home here to your home state of Iowa and the area that you grew up in? Well, you know, for the most part, it's, it's, it's business as usual. You know, our routine is our routine. But last night I treated the, uh, the staff to uh, my favorite place here in town, the OP Pizza. Uh, I think we got about eight XLs. And oh, there we go. I saw Dan, Coach Larson eat like eight pieces. <laughs> Coach Phelps had at least one, if not two pieces of everything. I had to just get out of the room or I was going to get the you know, meat sweats from like the meat lovers pizza. So um, it was good. You know, I, I had probably a couple dozen family members. Um, all my college roommates were here. And so it, it, it is, it's, um, and, it, and I need, you know, I, I worked here for three years. Coach Farley was, was tremendous, gave me an opportunity to get into FCS football. And, and uh, I don't know if I'd be in the role I am if it weren't for Mark. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome, Coach. The, the journey of life, right? Yeah, exactly. To be able to do what you love with people who you love, yep, right? exactly. Absolutely. Well, more to come here on the Bison Football Show. We're going to wrap things up and take a look ahead to the postseason. That's coming up next. Stick with us. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. 
you can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better start Swiss saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Hi, I'm Dr. Arden Beachy, medical director at Swanson Hyperbarics and former Bison quarterback. We all know that injuries are part of the game. We treat concussions, ankle sprains, and everything in between. Our goal is to safely return athletes back to the action and have them performing at their best. Whether it's hyperbaric oxygen therapy, the ozone hocket, or magnetic therapy, our technologies will reduce inflammation quickly and speed up the healing process. Call Swanson Hyperbarics today and find out how we can help you. Exclusively at Halberstadt's West Acres Mall, discover the largest selection of mizzen and main menswear all on sale for 20% off the retail price. Crafted with innovative performance fabrics, mizzen and main offers unparalleled comfort from the office to the golf course to a weekend getaway. Redefine your style while embracing performance with mizzen and main. Elevate your wardrobe today. Visit Halberstadt's West Acres Mall for 20% off our massive mizzen and main inventory. Orthopedic pain is limiting. It's unpredictable. And when it disrupts the way you move, it disrupts the way you live. Life is better when you feel empowered to move the way you want, when you want. And that's where our experts come in. We're your guides to orthopedic and sports medicine treatment options that can manage your pain, rehab your injuries, and restore your confidence. Take back the freedom to move. Explore your orthopedic options at Sanford Health. The stories we share are more than just words. They are unseen conversations and interviews. They are hours of research and dedication. They are the stories that connect us with the truth and with each other. We are honored to share your stories. Welcome back into the Bison Football Show with Coach Ed. We're wrapping things up. Regular season finale in the books as NDSU wins 48-27 to against Northern Iowa. And now, Coach, we're here at the postseason. This team ready to embark on its postseason journey. What's the mindset for you and the group as you get ready for winter go home football? Yeah, I think people are excited. Uh, I think the last couple of weeks our kids have had that same mentality and uh, our staff has as well. That we know we need to we need to be trending in the right direction. We need to play our best ball in, in November. Um, however the chips fall, we're going to have to get ready regardless. Uh, nobody's going to feel sorry for the Bison, especially us. Well, we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. This is the best time of year. Coach, appreciate it. Well done today. Thank you. Well Let's done. keep rocking. Yep. Let's keep going. Awesome. For Coach Entz, I'm Sam Niederman. Appreciate you guys joining us. A big thank you to our crew. We will see you next time in the playoffs. This has been the Bison Football Show. Today's Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. Welcome to Atlanta, baby. On the next Tamron Hall, buckle up for another Tam Fam road trip. Find out why Atlanta was named one of the best places to visit by Nat Geo. And what's a trip to the ATL?